Welcome to Adrianette Month, where every day has a different writing prompt for the relationship between Adrian Agreste and Marinette Dupang Chang. Today's theme is Wedding Day. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more fan fiction. You look beautiful, Adrian smirked as he watched Marinette tuck and pin hair back, curler in hand. Adrian! Ollie exclaimed, you're not supposed to see the bride before the wedding. It's bad luck. First of all, I don't believe in that stuff, he said. Second of all, I never pass up the opportunity to see my best friends dolled up for what's important to them. Yes, well, I'm glad you noticed the false lashes. Nino certainly won't. Will too! A voice cried out from behind the door. Adrian chuckled at Nino's input and winked at Marinette. He believes in it, though. Are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be, Alia said, straightening the white, tea-length dress she was wearing. Hopefully I'll only do this once, you know? It's your big day. It's okay to be nervous, Marinette chimed in. She took the bride-to-be's hand and, once Adrian confirmed that Nino had left, led her outside the dressing room. It was a beautiful ceremony. It was in a small cathedral with stained glass windows sparkling the sunlight through in every color of the rainbow as Alia and Nino promised their lives to each other. The parents cried and the groom got a mouthful of cake, not just from his bride, but also his best friend and maid of honor as they teamed up. When the time came to throw the bouquet, Alia was already more than drunk and called for both the bridesmaids and the groomsmen to participate. Bride's orders. Fancy bumping into you here, Adrian winked, nudging Marinette with his elbow. Hoping you'll catch the flowers of romantic fortune? I'll be fine, Marinette said. Believe it or not, I'm the embodiment of Lady Luck. He chuckled at her joke, ignorant of the irony in it. It's a shame you're shorter than the majority of the people here. Maybe I'll catch it instead. <gasps> you wouldn't dare. We'll see about that, he said, reaching upwards. It looks like it's flying our way. Sure enough. Alia had tossed the bouquet in their direction. Seeing that Adrian was aiming for it, Marinette stomped on his foot, hoping to distract him from her prize. It worked in a way. He didn't catch the bouquet. He grabbed the ribbon tied around it, helping it to fall in such a way that Marinette could catch the other half of fabric as well. They blinked in surprise as the party roared in laughter around them, finding the situation hilarious. So much for a clean catch, Marinette smiled, refusing to let go of her prize. Wanna arm wrestle for it? In your dreams, Kendall. Hey, lift up his shirt and you'll see the plastic boy's got some nice abs. <laughs> you are so weird, she laughed, blushing as he pulled her closer to unwrap the ribbon from their hands. Perhaps, however, the ribbon was a little closer to a string of fate for the two of them. Thank you so much for listening. You can check out more fanfiction listed here. I'll catch you next time.